Dolphin is already a very powerful file manager, but you can extend its functionality even more with these service menus. For example, you can quickly backup and restore multiple files just with the right click of your mouse. You can instantly convert multiple LibreOffice files to PDFs. You can show and hide many files at the same time. And much more. Hello everyone, it's Average Linux user, and I'm going to show you how to extend the context menu of your Dolphin file manager with a number of useful services. Go to the website storekde.org and click on Dolphin service menu. Here you can find many great services. I have pre-selected some, which I like the most. Let's start with quick backup and restore files. There is nice animation, showing what this service does. To install it, we need to download the desktop files and place them in our home directory to .local share KDE service 5 service menus. Let's do that. Download both files. When I try to change my home directory to service menus, I get this error, because such directory doesn't exist. If you also do not have service menu directory, you can quickly create it. Open the terminal and run mkdir with option P and paste the full path to the service menu. When the directory is created, move the two downloaded files there. Now let's test this new service. Backup two files, delete the original files and restore them from the backup. Perfect, everything works. I find it very useful. When you plan to do any changes to your files, you can quickly backup them and revert the changes later if you need. The installation process for the most other services is the same. Simply download and place the desktop files to the service menu folder. I have already installed some services. Let's have a tour for them. Compare menu. The compare menu is very handy. It helps to compare two files and find the difference between them quickly. Without the compare context menu, it takes many steps to find the difference between files. Well, you can run one Linux command from a terminal to do the same job. But if you prefer a graphical user interface, you need to open Compare, load each file, and only after that you will see the results. On the other hand, you can do the same if you select these two files and run the Compare menu. The differences are highlighted. Export LibreOffice and Office Documents to PDF the service Export LibreOffice Documents to PDF will be the most useful for users working with many LibreOffice documents. Normally, to make a PDF from a LibreOffice document, you need to open the document and then go to the file and click Export to PDF. This will bring a window with the settings and you need to do one more click to export it. Imagine if you needed to make PDFs of several or many files. It would take a lot of time. With the service Export LibreOffice and Office Documents to PDF, it takes only one click. Very useful service Export LibreOffice and Office Documents to PDF. Show and hide multiple files. You know that in Linux, if the file name begins with a dot, it becomes a hidden file. To see such files, you need to enable the option Show Hidden Files. The service Show and Hide Multiple Files does exactly that. It adds a dot to the names of many files and makes them all invisible. This service menu can also reverse the changes. You select the hidden files and click Show. The files are visible again. Important note, to enable this service, you need to place the file show high to slash user slash bin and make it executable. Otherwise, this service will not work. Set as wallpaper. If you like changing your wallpapers frequently, the service set as wallpaper is for you. In KDE, to change a wallpaper, you need to go to the desktop settings, open the image you want to use as a wallpaper, and click apply. This is a long way to do it. If you install the service set as wallpaper, you can right click on any image and set it as a wallpaper. There is one obstacle, however, your widgets have to be unlocked. This service won't work if you lock your desktop widgets. There are many other useful services. For example, you can send files to Telegram convert PNG files to JPEGs, and many more. Not all of them worked for me, maybe because some of them are obsolete, but the latest one worked fine. In the end, I would like to give a shout out to the developer of some of these services. His name is Alex L. I found out about these services thanks to him, 
and the Google Plus communities. If you still do not use Google Plus, I highly recommend registering there. I think the largest community of Linux users is on Google Plus. You can also follow my Google Plus page. I regularly post useful links there. Check it out, the link is in the description. Give a like to this video and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.